Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our idle control we're gonna be working with in our Haltech ESP software. So we're gonna be finding that we have the ability to have two different kinds of idle control. We're gonna have an open loop and a closed loop method of control. Now our open loop is really, really simple. And then we're gonna be having a little bit more complex idle control in our closed loop method. Now in closed loop, we're gonna have the, the, the ability to go in and use either a, a basic closed loop or we can use a short and long-term trim that can go in and further refine our idle control when we're running it in closed loop mode. So we're gonna be looking at all of the different styles of control in this video. It's gonna be a little bit long, but it's gonna be well worth it. You're gonna understand how to implement each strategy in your tuning if you choose to do so. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our idle control in our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding we have the ability to have very simplistic idle control if we use an open loop style format. And then we can also get a little bit more complex using a closed loop format. Now in the closed loop, we have both a short and a long term that we can work with. So there's gonna be a lot to cover in this video. The very first thing we need to do is go in and turn on the idle control feature so that it can go ahead and populate in our ECU navigator. Then we can go and create our custom layout page so we can most effectively work with our idle control. So let's jump up here to our main setup. We're gonna be going and typing in here, idle, and we're gonna be looking at idle control. And we can see right now it has not been turned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we can see immediately we have to start configuring things in order for our idle control to work. So we're gonna be first finding that we have to pick the signal type. We can see BAC two wire. This is gonna be a pulse width modulated output controlling a simple idle control solenoid. So you're gonna be finding these on a lot of the older Hondas. Um, some older Subaru engines have a two wire idle control solenoid. These are my preferred method for idle control. It's gonna be really simplistic. It's gonna be the same idea as controlling a fuel injector or a boost solenoid. We're gonna simply have more duty cycle to have more airflow to bypass to increase our idle speed. And then if we go ahead and shut the idle control motor at 0% duty cycle, we're gonna have the least amount of airflow bypassing. So if we move down the list, we also see a BAC three wire. This is gonna be set up a little bit differently. It's still gonna be a pulse width modulated output, but we'll be finding we have to control two different sides of the solenoid. And then we're gonna be finding we have a stepper motor, two different types, and then drive by wire. Now we're gonna be looking at a BAC two wire in this example. Um, I'm going to uh, look at drive by wire in a separate video coming up. We're gonna have a whole dedicated video to that because there's a lot of things that are very specific to drive by wire control. Now the stepper motor is a common type. Um, we're gonna be finding it's used on some of the uh, Toyota engines such as a Supra. Um, working with a stepper is gonna be really no different than working with a BAC two wire. So for this video, again, I'm just gonna be sticking here with the most simplistic idle control, but the programming and what we do here is still going to be the same for a stepper motor. So let's go ahead and select that. Now we have to pick an output, and we're gonna be finding we can pick, uh, let's see here, stepper, uh, step, step one, P2, is gonna be available through uh, P, P3 and P4. I'll just pick P2 here, we'll select it. We can find activation state low, drive type low. Um, we wanna go ahead and ground the pin in order to go ahead and control that idle control solenoid. So if I'm using a Honda idle control solenoid, it's gonna be activated low, drive type low. So we wanna send a ground output, just like a boost solenoid. So the next step here, if we jump into idle control, we're gonna be seeing mode. Now we're able to go in and use open loop 